Say hello to the new SwimOutlet.com. Enhanced navigation, larger, higher resolution imagery, more filtering and search capability so you can find what you need faster. As always, low price guarantee and free shipping on $49. The redesigned SwimOutlet.com. Dive in, say hi. Welcome to the Morning Swim Show on Monday, June 9th, 2014. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has created a new program called True Sport that is encouraging young athletes to be the best they can be and do it in the ideals of fairness and ethics. US USADA is partnering with USA Swimming's Deck Pass program to enable swimmers to learn these basic premises while having fun doing it. And our guest today in the Finis Monitor is a well-known ambassador for True Sport. Peter Vanderkay won multiple international swimming medals in his career and was an inspiration to young swimmers everywhere. So it's no surprise that he's taking on that role now with True Sport. And let's bring on PVK now via Skype. Peter, it's good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Well, it's good to have you. Uh, before we talk about True Sport, I want to kind of give our viewers a little chance to update us on what you've been doing since you uh, retired from competitive swimming at, after the 2012 Olympics. Yeah, so I'm working full-time in Detroit, uh, kind of the area where I grew up, and uh, I'm working for a kind of a startup company called Dandelion, and basically what that is is we do community impact acceleration work. So we work with government groups and nonprofits to help them add capacity to what they're doing. Okay, it's very interesting. How did you get involved with that? Uh, you know, when I moved back to Michigan after I was training in Florida, I, I did some networking and connected with the founder of this company. and. Just kind of like what they were doing and, and saw a position uh, and took it. That, that is a good It's a good thing to do, and I'm sure Detroit is, is a great place to be doing outreach like that. Yeah, it's been great. It's been really cool to see the impact that we're having, too. Well, last time we had you on the show uh, was to promote the swimmer calendar, which you are a part of as, as uh, August's athlete. Um, any plans to be a part of the 2015 calendar at all? You know, we haven't talked about it yet. Um, I'll have to talk to Eric Knight and see what's going on with that. Uh, not sure if, it, if it's going to go into production or not. Well, we'll have to see because I know it was very popular. You guys really, I know you guys really enjoyed being a part of it when it was launched last year. Uh, do you still get in the pool at all? You know, if I get in the pool now, it's just for exercise or for fun. I still love being in the water, but, uh, you know, I'm not training or anything. It's, it's nothing like what I used to do. Yeah, I don't think you want, I think when people retire, the last thing they want to do is grind out 8,000, 9,000 yards. Just get in and move around. That's all you need to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, um, tell us about this True Sport program and the basic premise behind it. So True Sport, as you mentioned, is a program started by USADA, and it really uh, is aimed at three pillars, and that's clean competition, uh, sportsmanship, and peak performance. So with clean competition, we're really trying to educate kids on what they're putting in their body, how that can affect them long term, and how it can have consequences for uh, the sport that they're in. And then with sportsmanship, obviously, we're talking about respect, uh, being a good sport, being a great competitor, uh, understanding the rules and, and how to follow that. And then peak performance is more around goal setting, uh, preparation, uh, you know, the kind of the, the tangible things that come with being an athlete. Yeah, definitely, definitely things that I, I think a lot of people would equate with you when you were in your swimming career. Uh, how did you come to be one of their um, Olympic ambassadors? I had uh, actually connected with them uh, at an event. I did an event for them in, in Charleston, South Carolina. It went really well. I really liked everything they were doing, the message that they were getting out to the community, kids in particular. And uh, as it kind of evolved and it being a, a newer program, there was an opportunity for me to work with them uh, kind of as an ambassador role, and it's something I really jumped on because I, I appreciate what they're doing. And uh, as I said, USA Swimming is, is a part of this as well through their Deck Pass program. Give us a little explanation of how the, the Deck Pass program ties in with True Sport. Right, so there's a, a partnership there where anyone who's on Deck Pass can go on, watch videos about True Sport. And then they can also earn a, a PVK patch, uh, you know, that, that we created 
uh, that, that has some messaging around the True Sport pillars. So there's a lot of great things on Deck Pass, but True Sport is one of the newer things that, that swimmers can get involved with. I guess probably never in your wildest dreams did you think there would be a PVK patch on Deck Pass. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did not see that coming. <laughs> so I, when they earn this badge, I understand there's like special videos that they watch that you're featured in. Is that right? That's correct. And they're just short clips with messages about true sport and, and competing clean, uh, being a good sport. Uh, and peak performance. Yeah, it's got it's got to be fun to to be a part of that, participate in these little things, and know that these kids are are going to see your face and hear this message that you're beginning. Have Have you heard any kind of response so far from it? Yeah, the uh, the response and feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. You know, it's a message, an important message that needs to get out there to kids, especially this day and age. And it's something that that I want kids to know that. You know, you can compete clean, you can still win, and, and you can learn a lot from doing that. So uh, it's just a great program, and I, I'm really proud to be involved. Yeah, and, and swimming is, is one of those sports, I mean, everybody agrees, I think, that swimming is probably one of the cleanest sports out there. I mean, a few, few stories aside, um, you know, in your experience, I mean, as a competitive swimmer, you know, did you agree with that? I mean, going around the world, and, and, and did, I'm sure you had a good sense of pride of knowing that, you know, the United States, wherever they went, was always viewed as one of the, clean, of one of the cleanest swimming nations in the world. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do think it's much cleaner than, than a lot of the other sports uh, that are out there. And, and it, one thing that, that I remember Aaron Pearsall saying uh, about doping, and, and he said, we just wouldn't do that to each other. It, and I really appreciated how he said that because we work so hard, we spend so much time grinding out laps in the pool uh, that we really have a lot of respect for each other. And, and I think that swimming community really kind of holds that integrity together. That being said, I, th I still think it's really important to educate, uh, you know, especially the younger athletes on, on why that's important. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's great to, to know that you're a part of this. I know you're there are a few other swimmers that are part of this. Kicker Ventil and Janet Evans are also ambassadors. It's great to know that these, these two are also um, really helping to spread the message. Um, so before we go, Peter, uh, we started something new recently on the Morning Swim Show uh, since you were last on. It's called the Final Five. These are five questions we ask all of our guests on the show. So um, even though you're no longer a competitive swimmer, I'm interested in get some of your thoughts on the swimming-related questions. And the first one is, if you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? Oh, that's a tough one. I would probably go backstroke first because that's by far my worst stroke, so I just want to get it out of the way. <laughs> and how would you do the other three? Then it, then it would go... Uh, Actually, let's totally change it up. I go back, breast, free, fly. Ah, yeah. That'd be fun to watch, right? Yeah, it'd be fun to watch. I'm not sure about swimming it. <laughs> <laughs> um, besides the work you're doing now, both as an ambassador and working with outreach in, in Detroit, what's a career or job you would most like to try? Oh, that's a tough question, too. Um, you know, I think... Uh, being like an astronaut or something, I, going back to being a kid, I think something like really science oriented, I mean, so far out of the realm of what I do that I think it would be really interesting. Uh, I'm not going to do it, but I'll go with astronaut. That sounds cool. On the flip side of that, what's a career or job you would not like to try? Oh, that's a, that's a tough question, too. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm not a very good salesman, so I guess anything in sales. Okay, yeah, probably right. All right, I hope this next question isn't tough for you. What's a rule in the swimming rule book that you would like to see changed or added? Yeah, I wouldn't change anything. I, I think we have it pretty set right now. I'm happy with the direction of the sport. Um, I think anything we would change at this point would be a little bit gimmicky. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, last question for you, Peter. Where would you like to go for vacation? Vacation. A uh, lot of great spots to go. I, I'd really like to check out some of the islands in the Pacific. Uh, Fiji, someplace like that would be really cool to go to. Yeah, maybe get away from those, those brutal Michigan winters and go out there to South Pacific. Exactly. I got one more quick question for you. Over your right shoulder, I see some sheet music. Do you play an instrument? 
You know, I, I played piano growing up, and uh, I have a keyboard over here that I kind of fool around on. I'm, I'm no Mozart or Beethoven, but uh, you know, I, I just like to do it and, and keep my brain fresh and I always try new things. So I, I can read music, I can play a little bit, but you know, nothing special. You won't see me on, uh, on any uh, stage anytime soon. Well, between you, Eugene Godso is also great on the keyboard. Maybe one of these days we got to get all these swimming musicians together and just have this big jam session. I think it'd be awesome. <laughs> I'll start you, can, practicing. you can still be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on, on um, your new, new phase in life, and um, thanks so much for being part of this True Sport program. I'm sure a lot of kids and, are um, really learning a lot and, and understanding more about the sport from it. Thanks, Jeff. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. So we hope you enjoyed today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. To be sure to stay with SwimmingWorld.com for the latest news in aquatic sports and keep up to date by following us on social media. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.